Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new CAF 5 tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on World Guard. Now the fun thing about World Guard is you can use it to protect things like your spawn, you can set up a PvP area, you can set up mines for a prison server, and so much more. So today I'm going to be showing you the very basics of how to protect a region with World Guard. Uh, a few I think are pretty cool flags that you can use on your server to utilize. Uh, things like the build flag, the greeting flag, farewell flag, and more. So, let's get started. For this example, uh, and for all examples in this video, I set up a very simple, uh, say this is like a faction spawn area. Um, something just very simple walled in, um, just purely for example. Of course, if you had this, it would look so much better like something like that, but we're just using this. So, let me just show you how to select it. The first thing you're going to do is you must have World Edit installed for World Guard to work. Uh, this is because World Edit is used to select regions. So, let's get started. The first World Edit command you're going to use is slash last one. You would use this one to select both corners of your spawn. So, I'm going to select the top and bottom. And if you want it to expand all the way to bedrock and all the way to the very top of the sky, you would run this command, slash slash expand vert. Once that's done, it will select everything from bedrock to the sky. And now it's time to create your region. The command to create a region is slash rg create and then your region name. In this example, we're going to use a region called YouTube because this is going on YouTube. So now the region has been created. Now it's time to set your flags to the region, whatever you want the flags to be. So for now, we're going to do some simple flags. RG, the command is slash RG flag region name, so that would be YouTube. And you can type anything in it, and it will display every single flag that you can set. So say I want to disable PVP, I would do slash, I would do PVP and deny. If I hit enter, it will say, that it's been added to the YouTube region. So now PVP is set to deny. If I want to disable item drop on a hub server, for example, I would do item drop and then deny. So say you have this set up for a faction server. You want it so as soon as they exit their spawn, so let's just make a simple doorway right here. Something really horrible looking, but it works. So you want them, as soon as they exit right here, it gives them a message saying, you're no longer safe, uh, PvP is now enabled. Let's show you how to do that. You would do slash RG, flag, region name, YouTube, farewell, and then your message. So, uh, you are now leaving spawn, PvP is now enabled. Now, watch this. If I had just spawned and decided to exit, as you can see in chat, it will say you are now leaving spawn. PvP is now enabled. Uh, it will not give you that same message when you enter. However, there is a greeting flag right here that we can set if we enter back into the region, which if your server is a faction server, you can't really, you're supposed to set it up so people can't get back into your spawn easily. Um, that's some of the more basic stuff. I also wanted to show you how to redefine and add an owner. So say you want to redefine the region and you only want this spawn point right here to be protected. Uh, you would select the corners of the spot. So I just want this little square right here. I would do slash slash expand vert. So that would select all the way down to bedrock and all the way up to the sky. And then I would do slash RG redefine and then the region name, which is YouTube. So now anytime I walk out of literally this little box, it will say it. This is no longer protected. I can just go all wild crazy uh, and anything in here would be destroyed, but here it would not. Uh, one of the more important flags I would also recommend, RG flag YouTube. And if you wanted to disable mob spawning, deny. And now mobs will no longer spawn in your spawn area. One more I would suggest is TNT. If you're running a faction server, TNT is a prominent thing, and you definitely want to deny it from exploding your spawn. So just set TNT to deny. If you have chests, here's the chest access flag, and you would set that to allow. 
This will allow people in the spawn to access chests. Uh, one that many people don't actually know uh, that they added, RG flag, YouTube. If you want people to access ender chests, it would be interact allow. Yeah, it's not chest access like a lot of people would think. They actually added this flag in the 6.0 version, so it's now interact to allow players to use ender chests. Um, I actually got this tutorial as a request from my YouTube comments. As usual, I always take requests in my YouTube comments. If you leave a comment below requesting a certain tutorial be done, I will be more than happy to do it. As well, I'm going to ask that if you are interested in the server, as you can see the scoreboard and all that, uh, here's a little fly over the spawn. I've actually done a, t a video on my whole setup. Uh, come check it out. It's a really, really cool server. It's got factions, skyblock, and a fancy little hub, which I am expanding every day that I can. If you guys have suggestions for that, I do take them in a little box down somewhere. I don't remember where that's at exactly. So, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like. Comment below with your suggestions, ideas, and future tutorials. And as always, have a wonderful day.